The Great Dane trailer here is a 53 footer trailer um, that's outfitted on that front axle at the back with the, the E hubs. And then the battery is, you'll see those components over there, mm -hmm. uh, is connected there. And then the controls I'll show you are, are up at the front. So okay, yeah, we let's, can go around. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Out. And so the um, the TRU, as I said, there's there's absolutely no change on the on the vector. So the vector is the same basic uh, vector. You can have it in multi temp yep. or in single temp. Uh, and so right now. We could switch it on. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. That's super so on the switch on here, on this screen is really for demo purposes. You know, the, the final product doesn't uh, need to have a have a screen, but it'll show you the the charge of the of the battery. So once the system comes on, um, that'll activate. Oh, yeah, you see you it. Cool. battery, and then the TRU unit takes a, a good minute to boot up but we'll uh, be able to, um, to take in the electricity from the battery as shore power, and then shore power comes into the TRU. So I can show you later, the shore power input is at the back, so okay. it's really established so that there's a dock. If you're docking into the, the depot, then you just plug the shore power at the back, yeah. and then you can, um, that's the input. So you'll see all the green lights, which yep. are for the driver. So he sees green lights, everything is good, and, right. and then he's on the road. So you'll see here that we're in, in electric mode. Oh, yeah, okay. So the TRU is going to kick in here in uh, electric mode. You might need to click there yeah, there so you'll see that. And then we've put the set point at 45. You see it's 52 degrees inside. Very cool. And you'll hear beep, and eventually it'll, it'll kick in. And I'm assuming a few engineers are going to run over asking, why the hell did you turn it on? <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, it's a nice thing about, uh, about the trailer. It's pure electric. You'll see it's very quiet. Yeah. When you're running, uh, diesel is fairly noisy, which is disrupted for the driver. Sometimes, you know, he wants to take a nap or he's stopped uh, at a truck stop. And then uh, beyond the, the driver, we're starting to see restricti restrictions now in the inner cities about noise control. Right. And so right. that's a great thing as well to be able to, to be have right. a quiet well, operation. Yeah, and even amazing running the electric TRU here because you couldn't do this inside with a diesel. There's probably no, no. some and regulations. This is probably the, the first time that a TRU right. unit has been running on <laughs> any show, I would guess, unless there's show power. I think so. Okay, well, let's, I want to walk down and see the batteries and the hubs then too because they're all, they're all down here, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to leave this running and we can go through the... At the back there is... Uh, sorry, we'll have to squeeze behind these gentlemen. Yeah. So the plug here at the back is where is the input of shore power. So if you're at the dock, you're plugging shore power. Oh, okay. And then that also gives you the input to, uh, to, the, uh, to the electric Thank system. You. So it's kind of nice and easy for operation. Uh, in the next generation that we're planning for mid-2023, that same plug will be able to charge as well the battery and provide cooling at the same time. So it's oh, nice cool. and easy, one plug charge all uh, for cool. the future there. Very nice. And more and more fleets are investing in shore power, which is an important aspect of electrification. You need right. some kind of energy at the dock in case your trailer is going to stay there for a long time right. and you want to pre-cool it as well right. of course the battery and the electric system is totally capable of doing it but you're prolonging the the life of the battery if you do that and well, i'm going to get a look at the hub because So the, the hub is a standard preset hub from uh, from Comet and you're familiar with. So yep. that hub is, uh, you know, it's gone through the years and years of reliability. Um, it's working on a, on a single tire on this axle. And if you go behind the tire, you'll see really the electric hub there um, with its casing. So it's all in here. You've got a drum brake behind here and the electric motor, you can't see because of the casing here. It's right. Right, right here close right. to the wheel. So you're delivering power close to the wheel. There's very little losses here, like compared to an E-axle, you're gonna have way more uh, energy right at the wheel without right. losses there. No, I mean, even the, the cables coming out of there, it's just wild. Yeah, yeah, you get cooling lines as well. Everything is liquid cool, so. Oh, cool. You've got a liquid cool battery and a liquid cool motor. That's wild. 
As you remember, there's a full electric motor in here, so you can also do propulsion. And that's one of our you know, future schemes. We've tried it a lot on tests. We, we right. are able to push this whole tractor trailer forward. Right. And so it's the ability for us to eventually um, gain some economy, fuel economy on the diesel as well. Oh, right, for sure. Very cool. That's so cool.